Hi there, Alana Corso, managing broker, co-founding partner of Dwell Realtors. This week, I'm telling you how to get yourself ready for an open house. You've probably already seen my video about how to get your house ready for sale. And so if you've done all those steps, this is what you need to now do to be able to host uh, an open house. So my first tip is to have a warm welcome at your home. So that includes putting a fresh doormat at the front door, maybe some color potted plants. Um, People love uh, to approach a front door that is attractive and pretty and welcoming. Number two, and I couldn't stress this enough in my video about how to get your house ready for sale, is also cleanliness. So when you're hosting an open house, it's imperative that your house is really neat and clean and you do a final vacuum, maybe mop the floors, wipe down counters, make sure that everything is nice and sparkly clean. And this also includes that your house smell good. So you wanna make sure that you've opened some windows for some fresh air, uh, make sure that you didn't make a stinky dinner the night before. Um, but generally people like to walk into a nice, clean, smelling, fresh, bright home. So my next tip is that you need to remove your pets during the open house. So while you might love your kitty or your dogs, um, it's a good idea to have um, any pets removed from the house because your prospective buyers may not be pet lovers and they actually also can serve as a distraction. Um, and this would include any um, pets that you have um, in a cage. Like I know my family has a guinea pig and it would probably be a big distraction if um, a family was touring my house and the kids were going to the guinea pig cage, possibly putting their fingers in the cage, but we don't want them focused on your pets. We want them focused on your house. So I recommend removing them, sending them either to a kennel or if you have a friend that can help you out during, or a lot of the time, if you can just take the pets with you when you're out of the house. One of the hardest things to prepare for, for an open house, I think is the mental component. So you need to have a lot of patience and then prepare yourself for the the time that you're going to need to be out of the house. So typically here on the peninsula, people host open houses on Saturdays and Sundays in the afternoon, roughly from 1 to 4 p.m. Sometimes people do a bit longer, 12 to 5, sometimes shorter, 1.30 to 4. It really just depends on you know what works best for your, your house's schedule and what you've coordinated with your real estate agent. Um, but you want to probably leave the house a good half hour before your opening time and then come back a half hour after your closing time. This allows um, your agent to come in, get the house ready, prep, get all the lights on, get their signs out, flyers, any of their marketing materials they're bringing. And then I've never hosted an open house where you don't have a straggler that comes right at the closing time. So you want to give them a chance, um, you know, a few minutes to look around the house, but then your agent also needs to, you know, take down every, take down their signs turn off lights, lock the house up. Um, So you want to prepare for plenty of time to do that. But there you go with my tips to get your house ready for uh, hosting an open house. Uh, It can be challenging, but it's not impossible. If you need any help or you need any tips, reach out to me anytime. Look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks.